Martin Transport. Is this LaShawn? Yeah, this hold on. What's what's the name of the company again? Martin Transport. Oh Martin. Martin. Okay, yeah. Martin. Hold on. I gotta I gotta go back through I gotta go back through where I found it at. Okay. Martin Transport. What's going on? Yeah. I got your email and I figured it would just be a lot easier to go ahead and give you a call. And then I also got that inquiry that you were looking for a driving position. And I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what you're looking for. Okay. Well, actually, it's in reverse. Uh, basically, okay. uh, I'm a six-year driver. So, yes, I've been driving for a long time. Um, yeah. And I am in a I am in a Facebook group uh, called CDL Truck uh, Truck Driving Careers. Uh, me and a bunch of and a bunch of people uh, that I network with. You know, we was you know we talk trucks and all that other crazy stuff. And Martin Transport uh, came through our feed, and you guys became a topic of conversation. So. Um, okay. We tried to, you know, find we, we tried to find some kind of way to get in contact with you guys through Facebook, but unfortunately we wasn't able to. So that's why I went out and uh and uh sent the inquiry. So um I'm just curious. I, I have a set of questions. It's only ten, uh not to take too much of your time. The information that you give me, uh, the inf information that you give me, I'll go and share it back with uh, with my group as well as my social media outlook because I have a I have a very a very huge social media presence. So um, yeah, I think that would probably be like a little bit better of like a questionnaire for our upper management. Usually, like the, I read through the questions, I don't know if they're the same as the ones that you sent me. They're you know very general ones yeah that, um, yeah that's we what, have yeah just that's like what, the website yeah for yeah. like reaching out to us yeah yeah i mean no just the general questions that uh that i got like you know if you if you know if you could tell me a little bit more about the company and what you guys are looking for uh how much experience you know questions like that mm -hmm. no ain't, ain't no no yeah. specific questions it will be questions that okay. everyday truck drivers like myself is looking for yeah. So, um, do you want me to start with your list? Uh, yeah. So that you we can, sent over. Yeah. So can so can you tell me uh, a little bit more about the company and what you guys is offering? Yep, absolutely. So at Martin, we're considered premier carriers, so we only take experienced drivers. Usually, we are looking for four to six months of verifiable tractor trailer experience whether that be, you know, drive and reefer. Usually when it's like flatbeds that are shorter than 53, we're kind of looking for more of a year. Um, for both of those requirements and criteria, it has to be with one carrier. So, um, you know, some of the newer drivers um, entering in for like entry-level positions will find one, it won't work out. They'll spend two months somewhere, two months another place. Usually we like to see consistency with just a solid four months with one carrier. For the minimum, now um, I, I, would, I, I would like to interject on that part right there because, like a lot of these, uh -huh. a lot of these new cats that comes into the industry, uh, and that's where, yep. and that's where I play a part in, you know, helping them, you know, making good decisions on the companies that they, that they want. But you know, they get, you know, they'll get into a company, and find out that that mm -hmm. company is not you know, is not what they're looking for and they might not be able to stay the four months. You see what I'm saying? It probably probably might right. take them maybe at least three, you know, as they say, third time makes the charm. You know, it probably might take yep. them, you know, that third company uh, that, uh, you know, that'd be the that'd be the charm for them. So but yeah, but I can yep. understand I can understand consistency, though. Yes. Yep. And it's not, you know, it's not us like holding something against someone like, don't get me wrong. I've, you know, worked for 10 plus years. I'm younger, but you, you don't always love the job you go in for. You know, someone right. can sell you something and hype it up as much as they want. Mm -hmm. It's still when you get into the daily routine, you're doing all of the things you need to accomplish for your, you know, daily, weekly, monthly schedules, whatever the case may be. All and right. it's, it's not always you know what you need exactly it's not always 
fitting what works with you. And we understand that. Exactly. But it, it would be just mainly for the consistency of the train. So it's not, you know, it's just like company policy. Don't get me wrong. There's things that get pushed through to upper management. You know, review most files if something's a little different, you know, and during the pandemic, things were closing down, you know, mm -hmm. companies can stay afloat, things like that happen. So I'm not saying that it's like strict, like you did this, but, you know, what? We, we, we have our experienced driver qualifications that we need to meet. Right. And what, what that's how we hold them. I, I, I heard you said something about flatbed. So what divisions do you guys mm -hmm. have? So we don't have anything that would be flatbed. I was just referring to like the oh, experience. Oh, oh okay, um, okay. We okay. mainly say for like tractor trailer experience because mm -hmm. we're needing, you know, the backing experience, the squeezing into the tighter places that you may not always have with a flatbed. I gotcha, um, gotcha. So that's what? why, yeah, that's right. that experience. Is so, so you guys is just mainly drive in or reefer or both? Nope, nope. We're mainly reefer. Oh, okay, okay. So we got those. But we do both. We we got those crazy uh, appointment times and all like that with reefer. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, we have such a. I mean, we have, you know, ten terminals plus however many drop years. Pinpointing, you know, crazy times isn't necessarily fair on us per lane per customer. You know, we have almost more than 3,000 seated trucks. It's, it's, so there's a variety. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great uh, variety. Being, being that this is reefer, what, what's the, uh, what's, what's the starting, uh, what's the starting pay for a driver that has less than, uh, less than a year? And what will be the starting pay for a driver of my caliber six years? So we have, so that's also not like really a question that we would be able to answer. It's more of like adjusting what works for that driver. Someone who's out OTR, you know, running 12,000 miles a month, 11,000 miles a month, whatever it may be, isn't going to make the same as someone who wants to do a daily position. Of course. So our packages are altered and, you know, they're, they're put out there. There's options for drivers. It's, it's really what works for them. Okay. So you couldn't give me a, well, let's just stay with, let's, let's just stay with my caliber. So you couldn't give me a, you, you couldn't give me a ballpark if I was interested in a, a regional, a regional position of six years or what I would be making per mile or percentage um, yeah i don't think that's something i mean if you're looking for a driving position personally that would be good but i don't think that's something i would relay out to facebook it's just not a very fair reference i mean for your caliber driving we you know we ex we verify all experience you know if you have the one to five years verified experience yeah, because I'm looking kinda, for your area. Because you know, in in your in your Facebook post, you 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 offering up to seventy cent. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. For the area that you were checking out. Well, no, like the ad it, you were on. Yeah, the ad that you guys got, the ad that popped up in our in in our feed was the fact that you guys was offering a guarantee. Uh, a guarantee pay of like twelve. I think it was around twelve fifty or twelve sixty a week, but uh, but you can get up to like seventy cent per mile. So that's the part where I yep. that's that's the part where I was trying to get at. So that if that's seventy cent per mile, is that is that geared towards like incentives or stuff like that, or is that like geared towards a person of a person of my caliber that has six years? coming in at 70 cent a mile with no with no, no strings no. attached so that would be all of our drivers because we only have higher experienced drivers so all of our drivers enter in at you know one area and then they continue to grow we're not going to punish someone because you know they only have six months and someone else has six years oh okay okay uh what benefits it's, it's what lanes work for you Gotcha. What benefits uh, do you guys have? We have full benefits. 
medical, dental, health. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Short that, term, long term, life, all of that. <laughs> okay. Is that a uh, is that a uh, company paid or half paid? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Did Did you hear me? I'm sorry. I, I must have cut out. Nope. Nope. You're uh, breaking up. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yeah, a little bit better. Uh, okay. Cool. Awesome. Is that company paid or half paid? for the benefits um it's what package you would be put into oh okay you know okay. what package you pick yep okay so for the uh but so you would oh go ahead i'm sorry you you guys would set up what plan that you want oh okay okay awesome and then you know take that out of your check that's we don't cover the benefits of anything but we have very good benefits they're almost the same as like union uh-huh Okay, awesome. What about uh what about home time? Mm-hmm. What you what you guys offer offer on uh home time? You got anything from daily to however long you want to stay out. All right. It's, it's based on area, you know, what's open at that moment. You have something daily in Detroit and the next day it could be filled. So Okay. Now what about the right time, what you know, what everyone's looking for? All right, so what about drivers that's looking for like like regional uh and they and they want uh home time for weekend would that weekend be like come home Friday and leave out Monday morning or is it just a 34 hour reset is it, it ranges based on area anywhere typically from the 34 to 48 hours all right um what ca- what kind mm-hmm. of equipment that you guys run uh what trucks and what are they covering that all 2018 are newer Kenworth or Freightliners, some Peter Bills and International. Mm-hmm. And then we also govern at 65 with the allowance up to 68 for the half hour. Okay, now I've seen I've seen that in the in the ad as well. A half an hour a yep. day? So, I can Yes, for 24 hour period. Okay. I'm kind of confused on that. So, if I'm say like I'm on uh I don't know. I'm in Texas. Speed limit is 75. Uh, I go up to 78. I hit the cruise for a half an hour. That's it for the rest of the day. I can't. I. I, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. Off. Uh, you know, use cruise again until the next day for 30 minutes. Right. You would have to set your cruise and our trucks at 65. Okay. What mm-hmm. now? Like I said, my my curiosity is peak. Why is the mm-hmm. thirty minute a day uh, limitation for sixty eight for passing? It's for passing. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're in a truck eleven hours a day, uh, and we only get thirty minutes to pass. <laughs> I yep, mean, it's, it's definitely not something I I put down. You <laughs> yeah. know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm just I'm I'm just questioning it. That's all. Um, yeah. Um, driver. I fa- could tell you why. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. I just know what they do. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Uh, but dr- I'm sure it has to do with like safety regulations. You know, insurance issues. You know, safer driving. All that kind of thing. That's understandable. Uh, driver facing cameras. Oh no, outer only. All right, awesome. We like to respect privacy. Awesome. Uh, other than other than uh, what you have told me already, is there any other lanes that you guys, any other lanes that you guys run? Uh, uh, we have hundreds. <laughs> Like, are you talking like specifically, or well, we me, have any you know dedicated regional OTR? We have job creation, so like strict flips on things. Mm-hmm. We have um, dedicated lanes with a you know like Walmart, for instance. We were voted best carrier of the year in a couple of terminals, multiple years in a row. You know, those are like store deliveries. So not, those not. have multiple lanes. You could be over in Ohio or Michigan for the day or Pennsylvania. Okay. So they they vary. But, you know, we do have dedicated lanes where you're going from 
Michigan, or let's say, for instance, one of them would be like Minnesota down to Illinois and back. And that's the flip you make. It's, gotcha. it's what caters to you and what you like, you know, and what we have available at the moment. Do you guys uh, do you guys uh, offer any assorial pay for going up in the Northeast or California or anything like that? Um, it, I guess not anything particular that I could think of. I only hire for the Northeast area. We don't pay extra for going into like New York City. We don't dis like force dispatch there. Uh, we have like additional incentives for hazmat, you know, things like that, but not for going to certain cities. No, it's just all across the all right, cool. Well, awesome. Well, I appreciate you uh, answering the answering the questions. Uh, thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. I only have a. Uh, I think I got two more for you. Uh, is there a sign-on bonus? It would depend on the lane. We do have some available for some places right now, but mm -hmm. not every lane has them. Oh. And they they do their times. You know, like we'll get a thirty day in there. Say, hey, you know. This might help you promote this lane. We're looking for a couple extra drivers. There's a sign-on bonus for 30 days or 40 days, you know, whatever the case may be. But they're not something we guarantee. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you help drivers get their CDLs if they don't have their CDLs? We do not do training or classes. We only hire experienced drivers. All right. And uh, and being that you said something, uh, the way you said how your sign-on bonuses are, how do you uh, mm -hmm. how do you guys retain your drivers if there's no sign-on bonus? I would think our pain, our benefits, and the mutual respect. You know, there's incentives. We have you know things like holiday pay. We're definitely promoting for safe driving all of that kind of thing. We, you know, we pay for you to shut down. We have minimum guarantee pay, so we're always guaranteeing our driver's paychecks. Okay, awesome. There's, you know, obviously your raises, how normal jobs go about. You're not going to be stuck at, you know, X, oh. X cents per mile for 12 years. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> we have you. sliding pay scale. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, for orientation, yeah, when you guys, uh, where you guys, will, will you guys get us up to uh, where the terminal for orientation? Um, how long are follicles or urine or both? It's typically two days for orientation and urine. Urine. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. I will. No problem. If you have someone looking for a position, I got some good things over there in Ohio, so let me know, okay? I, I will definitely do that. Thank you, ma'am. Yep, thank you. All right.